Unsophisticated Whiskey. Hi, and welcome back to Unsophisticated Whiskey. I'm Boogie. And I'm T.Y. And today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, this is a bottle from the You Do Bourbon Experience over at uh, Heaven Hill. Uh, I was in Kentucky recently. This is batch Y523, and the Y stands for you, which I'm assuming is You Do Bourbon. Uh, bold statement here. One of the best Elijah Craig's I've ever had, uh, barrel proof wise. We're going to test that theory today. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a 10 barrel batch picked by the master distiller at Heaven Hill. And he said he wanted the best 10 barrels for an experience that you, you know, you're going to have at their distillery. And uh, it's 126 proof. And I brought what little I have left of one of our favorite batches, the uh, B520. Yep. It stands out. Uh, it's 127.2, so the proof point's kind of similar. Very close, yeah. Um, I feel like this can, this will be the determining factor. Like, it's 10 barrels against maybe a couple thousand. I have oh, no yeah, idea. I don't know how many they put um, in, but I would like to point out that this You Do Bourbon bottle, no age statement. It is 12 years. They said it, it was is? 12 years. Okay, right. They said it was 12 years, so it's not the 11-5. Uh, all right, I just I it's asked, a little weird because there's no 12-year. I, I asked the guy who was giving the tour, he's like, I don't think it's really going to make a difference. Uh, he played it off like it wasn't a big deal. Um, I personally have an issue with it. I don't think it's going to really change the flavor of it. And then he proceeded to say that the next one's going to be a 13-year. Like all the barrels are going to be over 13 years, which could be phenomenal. But... What's that, the B523? Or no, B... B523 is 11.5. B923 would be the over older one. Right. Supposedly. So we'll see. We'll see. All Let's right. See. So we're going to do this You Do Bourbon Elijah Craig Barrel Proof versus Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B520. And if you know anything about anything, you know that 2020 was a great year. All of them. For Elijah Craig Phenomenal. Barrel Proof. Yeah. Phenomenal. All right, so here's your 20. I'm gonna crack this bad boy. I was very hesitant to want to crack this one because it was such a good barrel or blend. And I have some bottles at home that are very near and dear to me and this is gonna be one of them, but Come on, salut. Boogie, we drink whiskey. We, oh, we buy whiskey to drink whiskey. Yeah, I know, brother, I know. But there's <laughs> numbers and dates and things that I'm like, All about. Hey, you didn't spill any, dude. Oh, wow. Dude, it's Gangsta. one of the best bottles to not <laughs> spill. That thin lip right. will do it. I'm going to keep my Udo bourbon on the left. My B520 Yours on the right. Yours is all fancy over there. Got the uh, Bourbon County. Bourbon County. Man. So mine's on the right. And left all right, where am I starting? Where are you B520. starting? B520. Let's go B520. B520. So good. Is it C920 good? What's your take on that? I haven't had that in a long time. It's been a while. It's one of the bourbons that brought me into <laughs> me as the well. game. Uh, that was my first barrel proof where I was like, wow, this is what whiskey it's is. supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to go back and not judge things against it. Man, I do have to say they're pretty similar in the nose. I do think the B520 is jumping out of the glass more, and it's probably because it's opened Been open. Been open, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot left in it anymore. But like the actual smell that's coming off of them, it's it's similar. It's not the same, but it's you can tell it's the same distillery. But even that, the B520 still gets in your nose yeah, hairs. It's, it's, so it's good. uh it's pretty pungent. You're getting the nutty caramel vanilla note. Um, All right, what are we tasting first? What are we doing? Do you remember which is which, or did you already forget? My right is the Udo Bourbon. They're like very similar in color as well. Uh, I'm gonna go B520. B520 first. All right, I'm yeah. gonna put that on the right. So that's how you have it. We got family upstairs, jumping around. My kids and the dogs, and our significance. So good. <laughs> Holy cannoli. 
When I think typical bourbon, I want those caramels, and those vanillas, and those wood standard the oak the barrel. Dude. dude, there's a lot of barrel influence on Big that. Big time. I don't feel like you get that same barrel influence on the new batches, and I don't understand. I don't get it either. Did they change cooperages? Did they change? You know, like what? Dude, the amount of barrels that Heaven Hill's pumping out. Is it global warming? Like, I don't it, know, is it, man. Is it, <laughs> what is it? Are they aging these trees faster? They got GMO, like American. Dude, it's crazy, though. Oak? I don't 2020, know. 2020, A120, B520, and C920 were all top notch, top tier. And then it just, you know, fell. 200 plus dollar bottles of whiskey. Honestly, if you're, if you know, I've tasted many bottles that were $200 that don't compare to those. And this one is. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's freaking great legs. Fantastic. Um, you won't see this in the store anymore. Uh, if you do for some reason, buy them all. If there's ten of them, buy all ten of them. I would. <laughs> I would max out my credit card. That's very good. We're right, moving. Let's move on to the you do burbainess. You do burbainess. Dude, it's just. So... It's gonna be hard to beat that. It's going to be extremely hard to beat that, but bro. Think, were you feeling good when you were at Heaven Hill? I mean, I went through the lineup. We got a quarter ounce to a half ounce pour of four different barrel proof whiskeys. But I mean, that was my first drinks of the day, okay. so I wasn't like So you were, you were tasting them up against... Different things. So kind of nonsense. The larceny. I mean, I'm sorry. Nobody cares about Bernheim. It's, from what I understand, it's... It's trash meat whiskey. It's, it's not trash, but it's not... It's not a bottle you'd ever buy. No, I didn't. That means it's trash yeah. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't buy it if you saw it in the store, though. Probably not. Unless we were struggling to find bottles to shoot a video on, I'm probably not going to buy it, to be honest. That's just being real. They're playing. This smells really good too, though. Dude, it's got like this mapley, toffee. Definitely toffee. It's a little bit brighter than the B520. Dude, when I tasted this, I was like, wow. This is what I think of when I think of Elijah Craig. So, what are the batches after C9, or like C920, bro, that have actually kind of stood out? I think I liked, I liked A121, not like C920, though. Uh, it, B five twenty one was Tyler's like dumpster awful. fire. Like it was he, worse. It was if garbage. I was gonna pick something that he was gonna drain pour, that's the one I would pick. Uh, he was giving that to, out to anybody that he could give to. Uh, <laughs> we were somewhere. He had a flask. That was probably what was in it. He's done that to me a couple times. Uh, yeah, he was trying to get through that bottle as fast as possible. All right, let's Dude. go in on the you do bourbon. Right. Salut. It's good. It's very good. It's good. Uh, it's funny because we just wait. Okay, so let's let's go off topic slightly here. We just did a blind the other day off camera with a couple of our buddies. Um, I chose Elijah Craig. Which one was it? A one twenty three. A one twenty three as number one out of it was Elijah Craig A one twenty three. Larceny A one twenty three. Uh, foolproof 1792 store pick, and then a store pick of Old Forester Barrel Strength bourbon. Yep, I chose the Elijah Craig. It's good. So I mean, maybe they're maybe they're coming back a little bit. <laughs> and that was tough because all the proof points were within a point of each other. Basically, they were all like 125, 126, somewhere right there. Um, Do you remember what your number one was? The Larceny. Larceny. Pretty sure the larceny. That's one. surprising. That, yeah, that's even do, more surprising. Yeah, than, yeah. I know. Uh, I've that was a good larceny batch though, for sure. It, it really was. I like that. I think like they said, C nine twenty two was good, and I feel like A one twenty three just followed that up. Uh, we haven't got the B five twenty threes yet. I would. I was looking for them in Kentucky. Didn't find them. Dude, this is hard one. It really is a hard one. I feel like there's the same color. It's. It's a toss-up, bro. Um, I want to give it to the older batch just because. 
but, I'm trying to not be biased right, at all. Right. It's hard. But I, I, I stand, I mean, it's, Elijah Craig, I don't, They're they the just, best. it's so dark. It's so dark and rich. They do such a good job at imparting those deeper, darker flavors than so many other distilleries. And it probably is the age statement. You know, you don't, no one else is releasing 12 year old. Right. $80 whiskey? Nobody. I think it was $84 at the distillery, bro. I'd buy that all day, 10 yeah. times over. Mm -hmm. So they did 10 barrels. It's maybe 1,200 bottles, maybe a little more. Maybe, you know, 12 to 1,400 bottles, I would say. Um, so it's a smaller batch. Man, they're both really good. But this one's special. This one's got my name on it. That one's boogie. A, that one says boogie. Bottle on six eight twenty three. So this is pretty recent. And then, uh, like I said, it's batch Y five twenty three. What do you do, bourbon? Um, I feel like I'm getting a lot lighter notes, as far as like, not bad wise, but like a little more subtle compared to the punch that you're getting from the B five twenty. I feel like the caramels and the vill vanillas are like punching you a little harder and this is more subtle with like light toffee and like i don't know i don't even know bro i figured this would be a good matchup i'm like i haven't tried this in a while either so i was like you know what let me bring an old batch it's definitely a good matchup dude there's no doubt yeah. about that and i'm glad you bought this instead of c920 because c920 is 132 point something proof it's and it, hot it, compared it might have swayed our these are so close that you can't tell the difference right. it's funny if we would have an a120 what 136 point right. something proof that would have been a little way hotter um i have a c920 unopened at home i have the c919 which is like 136 or something like that it's one of the higher proof batches um these two, though, man. If you get a chance to do the Udo Bourbon at uh, Heaven Hill, I said earlier, or in a different video, the uh, Kentucky Hall, I had, people took this bottle 90% of the time out of everyone that was there. Um, hopefully, this video is not ruined by all the noise, but <laughs> it's all good. We're here for family, no matter what. So, T.Y., right, if I'm being I'm real, if be I'm real, being bro. real, okay, I'm real. I like the nose on B520 better. That's all I know so far. B520 has a better nose. I think and they're I, so similar, bro. I do it's think stupid. that that might just be because it's been opened. And this Dude, when that gets crack. When that sits, bro, it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really nice. But it's been open for a while, and like we've got an ounce and a half each out of it. Like that's about to go into some sample bottles and go in the vault. Cause I don't have a backup. I don't know though, dude. Hold on. Dude, they're both so good. How do you even choose? This is one where like I honestly think palette-wise, I'm giving it to you, do bourbon. I like the nose on this better, but the palate on this, this is, it's spicy all the way through, man. And it's just good. It is good. Um, I mean, I would have done the same thing. I would have been picking the dude, Elijah Craig for sure. You would have totally have been there for that. Uh, so you pay 40 bucks. I think it was 40 bucks to do the tour, which was awesome. Uh, like I said, you got to they sample. they take you to a Rick person. house or no? No. You're right there. Like you walk in the door and then they have the classroom, and then right next to the classroom, they have the bottling experience. And they have four different like bottling areas. You take your bottle from the, the classroom, and then they have a table where you basically have every label for you know Larceny, uh, the Bernheim, the Heaven Hill Select Stock, and then the Elijah Craig. Uh, you get to write everything out yourself. They check your bottle to make sure everything's exactly what it's supposed to be. Label it. It's got a really cool uh, label on the top, personally crafted uh, in Bardstown, Kentucky from Heaven Hill Distillery on it. Um, just an overall great experience. If you're in Kentucky and you are going to the Bourbon Trail, 
this is a, they call it an experience and I think it truly was an experience because I enjoy bottling bourbon. It, it's cool oh, to yeah. sit there and pull the, oh, like, yeah. they got pull leather. leather. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's so cool, sure, bro. Yeah. It's so cool. Uh, we've done it once before together and I'm glad that I was able to do it a second time and hopefully in the future I get to go back and do the same exact thing. Damn, bro, going through them. Uh, so what are you gonna? How do are we gonna do this? Are we gonna rank both of these, or are we gonna just pick a winner here? What's, what's I say the... we just pick a winner okay. because it's hard to do that with both of these, bro. Because I feel like the nose is so yeah, similar. Yeah. Um, and I, if I have to pick a winner, I never thought that I'd say this. I think you do bourbon is winning. Me too, bro. The Y. I just shook my glass like this to show. Like... The Y five twenty three. Dude, Dude, that's freaking good. <laughs> bro, it's going to stand up to all of them, bro. That when is I freaking tasted it, good. I said it earlier. When I tasted it, I was like, this is one of the best Elijah Craig's I've ever had. Yeah, And it good. is. It's like it's store good. picks. Yeah, you know, we'll have to do, we, we each have a couple store picks as well. We've got some, we've we got, got some a lot of Elijah Craig bottles. Craig. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> Let's do a blind of that. Yeah, we'll do an Elijah Craig barrel proof blind. We'll get drunk. <laughs> this this has got to go in it. We'll yeah. see how it shakes out. Uh, I'm excited for that's good friends dude. to try it. Um, Danny Boy's gonna be thrilled by that. I want to go down there and do a couple tours in a row just to get a couple of those. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> you do bourbon three days in a right. row, <laughs> right? Just for this. All right. Well, you do we bourbon wins, uh, guys. Or do you want to rank it or no? It's ten barrels, bro. Who's gonna get it? All right. Yeah. I, I mean, I agree. If I was gonna put, I'm it, already out too. So yeah. I'm if I was right. gonna put it somewhere, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be above forty for me. It is as far as the only thing I guess we'll say is go do the you do bourbon experience experience yes. at Heaven Hill, and uh, you'll have a fantastic time, and you'll be able to purchase a fantastic bottle of whiskey. Yes. We are unsophisticated whiskey. Yep, I'm Boogie. I'm TY. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Yep, please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We appreciate you. Peace. Making booze reviews doesn't need to be complicated. With a snooty attitude that'll leave the viewer frustrated. That will always be unsophisticated Unsophisticated